Hi you guys, it's Tanya, and today I want to share with you my fifth and final page in my mixed media jelly print book that we've been creating throughout the entire month. As always in my blog posts, I will uh, give you links to the other pages and the videos as well and some information about what products were used. So there was a glimpse of the book pages as they are now. So today I'm going to take one of the jelly prints that we pulled in the Ustream and I'm going to use the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Gel Medium to adhere these two pages to my spread. And uh, you know, just make sure you get a really good coverage of this gel medium on the back and it makes sure you, you know, the paper fibers will try to soak up this gel medium. So you just want to really make sure you have really a lot. Be very liberal with it so it doesn't buckle on you. So there you go. I've, I've got it on both sides now. And then I'm going to also cover the entire top with gel medium too as I work through. So for now, this is one of the hymnal pages we used in the last uh, video. This was the scrap, and I love to use up my scraps, especially on projects like this. So I've just a freestyle cut out a heart from uh, this this print, and I love that that the heart actually is from a hymnal page because it brings back in uh, my Christian beliefs and. Uh, when you see the quote you'll get it too so anyway so I'm gonna put gel medium over the top of this page and then put my heart down and then I'm gonna make sure I'm covering over the top of the heart with a really nice coat of gel medium as well so once the gel medium has dried I've come back with one of my watermelon gelato and I am adding that just to the edge of the heart I, do, I want the center to stay uh, white at this moment. So then I've pulled out my Stampers Big Brush Artist Pen in Pink Matter Lake 129 and I'm going to just enhance those shadows around my heart. Remember the surface is prepped with gel medium so I'm able to blend out that Stampers Big Brush Artist Pen with my finger uh, until it dries. Once it dries it's permanent. So now this is a paint made by Folk Art. It's almost completely empty, uh, but this one is called Jamaican Sea number 320. And again, I'll have all the products listed up down below. And I'm just going to take some with my palette knife and sort of scrape it around the edges. So um, I had someone ask me this in one of the other videos. Um, why did you take and do all of these jelly prints and then cover them all up again with stamping and paint. Well, I'm not sure it translates really well in the photographs or in video, but the jelly prints offer one, a really nice texture because I'm using a thicker paint whenever I was uh, pulling the prints. Uh, you know, the layers and layers and layers gave it a really nice texture because I was using stencils and things like that. So uh, you, you, you have that texture. Plus you also can somewhat see through this paint that I'm using to add these other layers. So they still offer that really nice depth of field in the background. I'm just trying to make them all work with my theme for the spreads. So now I'm taking my, uh, this is I think the Uniball uh, Jetstream pen and I'm just outlining around my heart um, and then throwing in a couple of little scallops there around the heart too just to give it some interest. It just seemed kind of flat and doodling is a great way on a mixed media layout to add some fun and interest. So once I have that doodled out, I grab out my Stampers Big Brush Artist Pen in the black 199 and I'm going to sketch out my title. Uh, it, it's not going to be perfect, but this is really um, not what I would say something I'm going to hang on my wall and I wanted to experiment with trying to draw with this pen and I think your journal pages are an excellent uh, venue for experimenting and playing and that kind of thing so they don't have to be perfect remember the spread we did about perfection you know life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and I think the eclectic look of this and the non perfection in this makes it have character so um, for a lack of a better word but anyway um, I'm happy with it it's a little wonky and I should have pulled out a ruler if I was going to do all this handwriting and stuff like that but you know what um, it's my journal page and I really like the way it looks at the end so anyway 
uh, what the quote is, is create what sets your heart on fire. I think this is an excellent thing to add to this type of book too because um, you know this entire book is about creative inspiration so for it to be the final page it's it's just summing up yes create whatever it is that that makes your heart excited that catches it on fire um, because I, I really think that's where real fine art is is found is when you are doing something you absolutely love to do you can be completely terrible at it but if you are having fun and you're happy then it turns into a masterpiece I mean uh, and and I can't stress it enough don't get hung up on what other people think focus on what makes you happy and what create what um, sets your heart on fire because when you're passionate about something that passion comes through in your work so now I'm just going to take a little bit of that orange uh, paint this is from plaid it's the um, oh what's that color I don't know I'll have all the colors linked up down below I think it's um, jack-o-lantern but I'm just going to take my palette knife and scribble some of that paint around uh, on the layout. Uh, this, I, I guess after I wrote my quote and I colored back over the top of my heart, I really wanted my background to look like there were flames. So I'm going to give a few highlights there to my heart with my white Sharpie pen. And then I'm going to continue out with some more doodles there on the edges. Uh, just some hash marks or X's or whatever just to kind of look like faux stitching there. And now I'm going to come back with some yellow paint and continue to put more flames down. The thing with acrylic paint is I like to let each layer of acrylic paint dry so that they don't mix with one another. That's why I'm not using watercolors. If I was using watercolors, the colors, even though uh, the color is dry, it would mix with the color below it and make a different color. So when you're wanting true opacity, go with an acrylic based medium. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, stencil that around using that diversion stencil that we've been using all along uh, I've picked this shape because it kind of has that triangular flamey kind of look to it and then this is the stamp that I told you guys about in the last video this is my Lemore Weber Designs Indigo Blue uh, rugged edge stamp love it like you have to buy the stamp and I just used my um, pink Matter Lake uh, pen to um, as a stamping ink on that so now I'm applying ink directly to my stencil or applying paint directly to my stencil and then using it as a stamp on top of my heart wait till you guys see what this created it is just so random and ah uh, look at that my heart is totally on fire for the spread <laughs> so now I'm taking a toilet tissue roll and you could use paper towels if you didn't want to use uh, toilet tissue and I'm just bending it up until it's in a heart shape and then I'm going to use it to uh, stamp some hearts around the other sides of my spread just to kind of reinforce that heart theme and it's almost as if the hearts were in the fire and they're floating up like the smoke so I know I'm probably getting way too philosophical here but uh, this is just how my brain works and and I love the freedom of these mixed media spreads and in this book so here is a close-up photo of the left side of the spread and you can see what I meant by the handwriting there I should have done a better job but oh well and then um, on this side you can really see my heart is totally on fire absolutely love this and then here's the spread so as always uh, I will have a blog post linked up down below that has all of the other spreads that we've done the videos the references and all of that all the products used so make sure you go check out my blog for that if you decide to do any of these th things that we've um, discussed in this entire book please hashtag following Tanya Gibbs and Instagram or Twitter so that I can get those um, those feeds and see what you guys have done if you're in Facebook just tag me in Facebook I would love to see your work it totally inspires me to see what you guys are doing so our next Ustream will be set for July the 6th at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so stay tuned for details on that and our next production uh, in this book and the final will be the cover us decorating the cover so as always thank you for hanging out with me today through this entire process video and if you like what you saw today please leave me a thumbs up and a comment and don't forget to share this with a friend.